In this video I'm going to explain how you can use Google Earth to create some great scenes from cities. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator, and I'm now working on an exhibition. And for that exhibition, I need to paint uh, cities from the 20s and um, especially Amsterdam. And you know, I was looking uh, on the internet, you know, to find some old images, but I needed to create um, a top view that I was looking down on something and was just trying to figure out how I could uh, achieve that effect. And this is the image and it's called the Westerkerk. And the Westerkerk is in the center of Amsterdam. To create this image, I uh, used an app called Google Earth. And you can find it on uh, the App Store or if you are on Android, you can also find it in the the Google Play Store, or you can use it on your desktop as well. And it looks a little bit like this. And then you can type in where you want to go. And uh, for this image, I needed to go to uh, Amsterdam, just going to uh, go to Amsterdam. And that's a cool effect, you know, that you can see the globe and then, you know, go to uh, the place you want to go. And they don't have all the cities in 3D because when you zoom in, you can really, you know, see the city in 3D and you can rotate it around. This is Dam Square. And then you have to drive up here. And here's the Westerkerk or uh, the Wester Church. That's a very famous church in Amsterdam. And I used Google Earth, you know, to create the image you see now. But, you know, in the back, you see that they're working on a building and some buildings because uh, the image I painted is in 1925. And this is taken in 2016. So. Uh, I needed a lot of other images as well, but I used this as a basic uh, picture. So you can take a picture of it and then you can save it to your photos library and then use that image as a reference. So I'm now going back to the Procreate file and just going to zoom in. Because in the back, uh, maybe you know the story of Anne Frank. And Anne Frank uh, had the hiding place and that's behind the church. But they changed because here is now the Anne Frank Museum, but it's a new building. So I needed to find some footage from before the war, because this is in 1925. So I found another image on the side of Anne Frank house and I uh, used that, you know, to create these houses here. So I made some sketches of it and then imported it into Procreate and, you know, paint over it. The same goes for this image because when you see the uh, photos app, Here you see that, you know, it's still under construction. So I needed to find some other pictures and then uh, incorporate it into this perspective. So Google Earth is a great app to, you know, search some things, maybe uh, go to uh, New York, for instance. So if you, you know, need some, uh, cool views of a city or just want to walk through a city and you know find some great angles you know to to paint something you can um, use google earth and it's always cool you know to see the globe and then zoom in into new york and it's not all the cities are uh, in 3d maybe this is not in 3D, I don't think so. Or maybe it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's pretty high because of all the skyscrapers. 
but when you zoom in, you know, you have a 3D view of New York, which is great. So here are the basics of using Google Earth. And this is the top view. And on the left side, uh, in the left side below, you have four buttons. One is your location and you can turn it on and off. And there is the second icon is street view. And you also have 3D view. So when you press on 3D view, you get a 3D view of the city. So this is very interesting. I'm now looking at the uh, Empire State Building in New York. So you can really zoom in and go, you know, through the city. So if you need something, you know, a view of the Empire State Building or any other building uh, in a city, you know, you can also turn it around. So there is uh, a navigate or a compass. When you press on that, you go back to the straight view. When you press on 3D, you get uh, the 3D view. And when you turn your two fingers around, you can just move the camera around. So this is a great feature you know to get a nice view you need and maybe you want this and you can take a picture with your ipad by using the home button and the other button but there's also uh, on top in the in the left upper corner you see a camera when you press on that it will take a picture of it and then you can save it to your ipad and there are other things as well. So there's the search bar. So you can go to Times Square, for instance, and then it will take you to Times Square. And when you press on it again, you can press on 3D again, then you get the 3D view. There's the navigate. And this is the editor's pick. So you can, you know, discover a lot of different things about cities and uh, about uh, natural wonders and uh, see things from space. And when you press on the arrow again, you are back in your 3D view. And when you press on the left icon, you go to street view. So when you now press on the screen, it will take you to the street view and then it will switch. And then you can explore the city from the ground up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.